Thank you, Dr. Subhuti, for uh, asking me to give a talk. And uh, here uh, uh, in the Tele Ophthalmic Society, we are happy to have Dr. Rajiv Raman from Shankaranetralia and uh, Dr. Kim as the president elect and Dr. Rajiv Raman as the uh, vice president. And uh, now Dr. Kim is becoming the president of Telemedicine Society of India, for which uh, it's a more than, uh, I think, 25, 30 years old society. We, you'll be surprised to know the first uh, president of Telemedicine Society of India was none other than our uh, chief, Dr. Badrinath, uh, way back. And uh, I'm happy he started teleophthalmology in um, Shankaranetralia. Even when uh, there was no internet, they used ISRO. And then uh, Dr. Kim uh, and Dr. Nam started in Madurai. And now we have come to a level where we can do everything with the mobile. So uh, whoever is interested in uh, screening, diagnosing, and treating any problem, I think uh, you should become a member of uh, Tele Ophthalmic Society of India. Kindly visit the website. I'm glad that Dr. Subhuti is doing a great job of spreading this knowledge of tele telemedicine, which uh, really helped during the COVID, but I think even post-COVID, we should work on it. Now, my talk, diabetic retinopathy screening using an offline AI system on a smartphone. And I think uh, the main thing is the epidemic of uh, 21st century is diabetes mellitus, and diabetic retinopathy is a major cause of blindness in the working middle-aged adult population and the fifth cause of uh, blindness globally. And IDF says approximately 537 million adults are living with diabetes, and the total number will be 643 million by 2030 and 783 million by 2045. And three in four adults with diabetes live in low and middle income countries like India and Africa and South America. And almost one in two adults living with diabetes are undiagnosed, and that's the worst part. So more than 1.2 million children and adults are living with type 1 diabetes. 541 million adults are at increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Conventionally, retinopathy screening is done by retina fundus camera or fundus examination by ophthalmologists using conventional fundus uh, by trained eye technicians or optometrists. And the primary issue, as published in the Indian Journal of Ophthalmology in 2019, is we have only one ophthalmologist per 100,000 population, and we have 1.4 billion people. So the problem faced in our health system. Second, 70% of Indian population resides in rural area or urban slums and low awareness or ignorance. And thirdly, follow-ups required for years together if you are a diabetic because once you are diabetes, uh, diagnosed diabetes, it is up to the grave. And other technical difficulties, unreliable internet coverage, deficit in supply of electricity in many areas, shortage of trained medical staff for operating conventional fundus cameras, and portability of conventional fundus camera was the big hurdle a uh, uh, decade back. The solution, these issues can be solved using computer machine learning or AI for analysis of retinal images in people with diabetes, thus solving at least some part of the problem, again, published by our uh, 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 RPA Center Group, Atul Kumar and et al. And uh, AI, the way forward, and I love this definition. Intelligent is the capacity to analyze, think, make a decision and categorize, many times commonly lacking. And artificial intelligence involves formulating a specially made algorithm according to our needs to develop this capacity and include it in an electronic device like the smartphone. And the role of AI, integration of retinal photography and AI, AI-based grading and diagnosis system for referable diabetic retinopathy, which can perform the following procedure fully automatically, identifying retina picture, classifying the image quality, classifying the existence and severity of disease, and all these are based on the deep learning technology. The way to go, so I, uh, I saw this in the cancer. You cannot screen, diagnose, and leave the patient high and dry. You'll be punished because there's an IPC to punish if you diagnose a cancer and don't refer, for not only refer, make sure the patient undergoes treatment. And I'm glad that law is there in India. But di for diabetes, it is not there. So it's our moral responsibility, which we have to educate the patient. You get screened, diagnosed, and treat. Because if you treat, you can prevent blindness. And uh, unity is strength. We need more working hands. And we have to make use of minimally trained staff already available. So I found this idea. The people who are sitting here in the uh, audiovisual or who the person who's keeping the coffee, he can be trained to use the smartphone. And the AI will do the uh, bridge this gap. 
So we have a pre-camp awareness assembly of diabetics, which is a challenge even today because people don't know whether they are diabetic or not. And people who are diabetic who are a breadwinner uh, will not have time to come to the camp. And capturing of image and uploading, either diagnosed by an eye doctor or a, a, in a reading center with any graduate or a, a AI or a offline AI software. So remedy, I don't have any financial interest. Ayati Jyot Hospital and my foundation, which was earlier known as Ayati Jyot Foundation for Twinkling Lives, as given by our uh, former president of India, Dr. Kalam. Now I changed it to my parents' name as a Kamala Sundaram Foundation. We have published a first of its kind world project for the screening of diabetic retinopathy, use of semi-skilled health worker. Take uh, anybody like this who's serving a coffee or who's cleaning the toilet, uh, teach him the skill of using the smartphone to diagnose diabetic retinopathy. An AI deployed on a smartphone, non metriatic retinal camera in municipal dispensaries in Mumbai. The computer is trained to accept retina pictures properly taken by the trained semi-skilled worker, compared to thousands of previously provided DR. So the, uh, the software will tell whether the picture is 99% good or bad, and if it is good, you can put it in the AI software, and then you'll f notify the staff that which patient needs to be referred. Is it not so simple? But it is so simple, but yet complicated in India because uh, we have got uh, some doctors from uh, Brazil, uh, Zambia, who came because that's my dream. Whatever I do in India, I want uh, Africa and South America to benefit. So this is a remedy of fundus camera. As I said, no uh, financial interest. Can be mounted on a suitable bike for transporting for screening purpose. Can be mounted on any table, and you can charge the mobile phone and you can charge the infrared device so that you don't have to need electricity, you don't need internet for doing this uh, screening. And uh, so in way back in 2014, after the conference in Agra in All India, I gave this idea to K. Chandrasekhar who was there in the picture. And again, as I said, no financial interest. This is from the company um, Forus, where uh, he made a three netra uh, fundus camera, where is a replica of the regular Zeiss camera. And we decided to carry this in the box and take it in a bumpy road. Because if you take a Zeiss camera, the lens will get dismantled. One of the lens broke also. It's again 50 lakh camera, means 3 lakh you have to spend for the lens. Here we got 4 lakh camera. Maybe in bulk, he can give us more. So this can go in the bumpy, small by lens of uh, slums of Mumbai or any rural India. And in the bottom uh, right, uh, my grandmother is cutting the ribbon, who was uh, 95 that time. And uh, to, my, to my, my uh, left, my father is there, late Dr. Anna Sundaram, who was the chief of the government eye hospital. And uh, he, uh, he was ophthalmologist, my grandfather was ophthalmologist. And you have my best friend Shivanandan. We both run this roti bank. And another uh, service we do, 11,000 people daily we give free meals. So from this, as I said, I can train anybody to screen diabetic retinopathy. I borrowed the slogan from Prabhu Deva from the movie, Anybody Can Dance. So here, we can train anybody and they diagnose all this without ophthalmologist or opt optometrist. And uh, here offline, capture the image, analyze the image, and sensitivity of detecting of diabetic retinopathy. Here you see the remedy of camera where uh, we have trained uh, non-medical staff to uh, handle it, and they can take photographs. And this is a video which shows um, uh, which shows uh, that you can focus and take a photograph, beautiful photograph of the retina like this. You can enlarge and you can save it. And then you can uh, also check whether uh, the house and how much is the sensitive. You can see here it shares 99%. And this is applied to the media software, which uh, the blue things which you see is uh, identifies the abnormal uh, color difference in the retina. And then thereby, because of the, it compares to the thousands of images in the mobile phone, which is stored. And without offline, within 28 seconds, it gives an answer whether you can do a referral. You can see confidence 99%. That means the photograph is taken properly. And this can be used for glaucoma diagnosis also. And you can see the fundus on phone and Zeiss uh, phone care photograph. It is comparable and you can use it. And you can see, here you see the mild, the moderate, then the severe and proliferative diabetic retinopathy, CSME, where it shows the blue color, which will identify the abnormality of the retina, which compares with the various things, and then you can find which is referable and which is non-referable. And uh, they, that's why Google, which I has found, that you can find the, whether the fundus belongs to a female or a male. 
I don't know the importance, but the uh, artificial intelligence will find something what you cannot see or think. So this is what I said. There's a link between the medically underserved area and tertiary healthcare services. So as the president of All India in 2019, I decided what should I do? And I made a five point program. And the fourth point was the stop blindness where the, uh, I introduced this term like the, our prime minister, George Sejo from that movie um, in 1962 where uh, uh, Lata Mangeshkar has uh, sung this song and uh, where uh, I use this acronym, Screening Through Teleophthalmology for Prevention of Diabetic Blindness. So we did on 26 January 2019, a mega diabetic retinopathy screening camp in Dharavi using 13 funders on phone devices and which was organized by the foundation and thanks to Roti Bank for giving diabetic diet to all the patients and their relatives who came, about 2,000 people in the Dharavi. And you can see the various cam the regular cameras recording the event which was sent to the Guinness record where we diagnosed 649 diabetic patients and 53 were have diagnosed have diabetic retinopathy and we, uh, 13 cameras were used at a time and uh, all of them are treated free. This was the uh, certificate from the Guinness, most diabetic eye screening in eight hours. And the idea is to, uh, I want more people to beat this, maybe we'll beat again. The idea is to increase the number and make sure more and more people are screened so that more and more people are treated and uh, uh, before they have a problem. So the use of AI in prediction of diabetic retinopathy using a funders on phone camera. So we had a research question. We, is AI reliable to pick out those in need for seeing an ophthalmologist? So the sensitivity and specificity was done. Reliability of AI for screening population for diabetic retinopathy in need of ophthalmic checkup by an eye doctor was 100%, which is what we have published in JAMA, which was uh, in, published in uh, J August 2019. And we had a beautiful commentary by Alvin Liu, who's a retina person in uh, Johns Hopkins, saying that this is the future of uh, ophthalmology is here. And in academy in the next year, in 2020, he gave an instruction course uh, or an advanced uh, program where the pre future is already here and he quoted our work. And this is there and this was in a top five in the whole year of uh, 2019. And it's not for boasting and I'm proud that India has contributed for the screening and the treatment. And for, so that was about 253 patients. Later, in, we collected 1,500 more patients and published this in the Indian Journal of Ophthalmology, use of offline AI in a smartphone-based fundus camera for community screening of diabetic retinopathy. So this was the conclusion. The study was a community-based study for screening of a referable diabetic retinopathy. The images were captured on a, a smartphone. And despite including poor quality images, the sensitivity and specificity of detecting referable diabetic retinopathy by AA was 100% and 89.5% specificity. Being an offline AA algorithm, the real-time analysis of images brings another novel edge to the study, which is still one of the best uh, quoted uh, study all over the world because everybody is working on internet, the Google and the Microsoft. I'm glad we are ahead of them. And we also work with the diabetologists to publish the comorbidities with diabetic retinopathy. And so advantages of using AI, whether offline or online, early referral of referable diabetic retinopathy, greater awareness of diabetes, its effects, and importance of regular follow-up, greater chair time to referable diabetic retinopathy, timely medical surgical intervention to prevent complete loss of vision, more job opportunities, more working hands, and still uh, skill development of less educated. So for, with this in mind, I have made a Section 8 company called the Sundaram Natarajan Blind Free India Foundation, which is in the, my father's name. And my father's name is Dr. Sundaram, and my grandfather's name is Dr. Nataraja Pillai. So I've combined all that. It's a company limited by shares, not for profit, under Section 8 of the Companies Act 2013. And we have registered and have the office in Madras. I hope to collect crores of rupees and give it to various societies to do this all over India, right from Kashmir to Kanyakumari and Arunachal Pradesh to uh, uh, Kutch. So thank you very much, Dr. Subudi. And if any questions or comments, I'll be happy to. A any comments? Anyone sitting behind, any doubt, any questions, please do.
at least one question from so that we can know that you could understand what you are want to speak in these two lectures. Your comments, Dr. Mathur. <laughs> okay. I told you. <laughs> okay, you okay. can comment and then yeah. call the next speaker. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, thank you, Dr. Narada. Please be seated. Yeah.